Hi everyone, welcome to the tutorial on how to create a policy using the type dashboard. Now, if you're issuing thousands or millions of API keys and you want it to change them easily, generating a key individually can be difficult. What we've done is create the concept of a policy. Let's see how that works. Go to your type dashboard and under system management, go to policies. Click on add policy. The policy is essentially a way for you to predefine most of the settings of the key in one place. So let's just give it a name. Here we can see some of the settings that are available, like rate limits, usage quotas, access rights, etc. I'm just going to set the access rights to pet store. and click on create. So now when we create a key, we'll be able to use this policy against it. Let's see that. Go to keys, click on add key, and under apply policies, you'll now be able to select pet store, which is the policy that we've just created. And now we can see that all the settings of the policy that we just made are automatically defined in here. So you click on create and we have a new key. Let's just copy that to the clipboard and go back to Postman and try with the new value. Let's see if we get a result. So yes, we did get a result and that works. The interesting bit about policy is that when it's changed, it'll affect all the keys associated with it. So just to show you how that works, let's go back to policies and let's change the rate limit to and update it. Now what we'll find is that even though we've not changed the key directly, it's now subject to a rate limit. So let's go back to Postman and test it out. So if I send a, send a bunch of requests right now, I should hit a rate limit. Yes, there we go. We've hit the rate limit, four to nine too many requests and a message saying rate limit exceeded. Okay, so that's been a short demo on how to create a policy for your API. Thanks for watching.